Who is Debo? I don't, I don't know that much about him. I mean, not really. I'm not a huge people. I'm embarking on a journey that I don't know if I'm gonna be successful doing. I like to call it the Beeple Challenge. I'm essentially just gonna clay his picture of the day for the next three days and finish it before he drops the next one. Fuck! We missed it, he dropped it. He did fucking thread guy. He drops one every day. So the idea is, can I replicate what he does with my music? The Beeple Challenge, three days in a row, playing the day-to-day -day picture. Maybe we get his attention, maybe we don't, you know? We'll see what happens. We couldn't have picked a more perfect day to do this. I mean, a Jack Butcher drop with a thread guy and, and a Beeple twist, and now I'm gonna fucking clay it. Pretty fucking fun. Still have no idea how to bridge to Zora. I actually really like attacking the NFT space because it gave me a creative outlet. I didn't have a place really to be seen, and to me, I think that is important. I want to make art for other people, not really necessarily myself. NFTs force you to use Twitter, so here I am. And I like in interviews when people take sips and drinks. It makes it feel more natural, like they're a human being who gets thirsty from talking a lot. Um, oh, you don't like it? No, it's, it's horrible, and, and Love it. you shouldn't do it at all. <laughs> Being a part of an NFT community and being able to create artwork around their specific NFTs or the specific branding that they already like inherently gives you a cheerleader, inherently makes someone at least pay a little bit more attention than if you are dealing in subjects that aren't something that they're so related to. Gruesome here, quick emergency press conference. Uh, little update with the uh, three day clay people challenge I was doing. Did you see, did you see any of my texts? No, what text? Uh, people retweeted it. Wow, that's exactly what you wanted, strike gold on the first day. There you go, we got two days left. You think he's gonna fuck with me now? Day two, we kind of got what we asked for, which was a retweet from Beeple. <laughs> so I'm done. <laughs> <laughs> the challenge is over. The very interesting part is that uh, it was a whole Jack Butcher, Thread Guy, Beeple collaboration that all happened, luckily for me, I guess, on the day that I chose to do this because everyone on Twitter was talking. All right, it's midnight. Oh shit, okay, here it is. All right, let's see, and there we are. All right, let's bang this one up. See you in the morning, peeps. So I dropped a video last night, 1.30 in the morning. Gruesome here, good evening. People didn't drop his shit until about right at midnight, so I'm pretty exhausted. Woke up, was playing golf, and realized that people actually commented on that video and wrote dope with some hearts. I mean, that's pretty cool. If we were Tinder dating, we might, you know, we might fuck. I don't know, I don't know. But I'm just saying, he's increased his touching a little bit. Did anything else happen? How yeah. is Gummy Bear <laughs> gonna ruin the sound? <laughs> like, <laughs> you're just casually asking me a question and ripping Gummy bears. It was, Another Opa pen. <laughs> Jack Butcher thread guy. You fucking missed it. Better might be. At least it's not a fucking Opa pen. Being a creator, being a part of an NFT community gives you a very unique advantage over other people who don't have an incentive to like the things that you're making.
So George, here we are, we did it. What does the future have in hold for your clay? I don't know. <laughs> so I think it was an all in all uh, success. We got what we wanted. We got the retweet, we got the comment. He acknowledged the existence of it. Um, that was the goal, really. Um, I had a lot of fun doing it. It was really uh, a testament to see if I could do it, not knowing what it could have been. I kind of think I feel like I got up pretty easy uh, with the Jack Butcher thread guy uh, art, because it was just simpler than a lot of the other shit that he does. So I think I just happened to get lucky uh, with that. Um, I would have liked to have been tested a little bit more because I did finish pretty easily. Uh, I was looking forward to some weird people penises, you know, something weird. Uh, but we didn't get it, but I did it anyway. Now I'm just babbling. Good.